You ever tried farming not high? It's boring as sh What's poppin' Nasty Gang? It's your girl Jane Nasty on the mic, and today I'm back with another base mental video. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to grow weed in The Sims 4 using the base mental mod. So a couple things to mention is that in the base mental mod, it gives realistic drugs and things like that to the game and part of it is pot so you can buy pot from a dealer you can grow your own pot you can smoke pot you can sell pot you can do all that with this mod so what i'm going to specifically teach you is like farm to table farm to blunt if you will i'm going to teach you how to grow weed and turn it into a bag of weed to smoke sell or whatever have you and helping me today, I have Savannah from my Weed Farm series that I tried to do. And it was a really fun series, but I had ended up losing a bunch of progress, so I just ended it. So we're back with Savannah here, and we got her a cute little farmhouse barn thing to uh, teach you guys how to become professional marijuana growers for legal medicinal use. Or in places that it's legal only allegedly. Like in The Sims, because it's a video game. <laughs> so, yeah, you can't grow pot like this in real life. Sorry, kids. Wrong video. <laughs> so, if you'd like to know how to grow your own pot in The Sims 4 using the base mental mod, then stay tuned. But before we get into anything, I'm going to ask that you show me some love downstairs by liking the video for me and leaving a comment down below. Anything you want to comment down below, or if you have any questions or concerns, you're confused about anything, let me know. I do answer fast on Instagram, so if you guys want to hop over there, if you really need help in the moment, right away. And if you haven't already, subscribe to become part of the Nasty Gang, because we have a lot of fun on this channel, if you can't already tell. <laughs> Alright guys, let's grow some pot plants. Okay, first things first, you're going to want to click on a planter or anywhere else that you can buy seeds. And you're going to click on purchase cannabis seeds. I'm going to get a few packs because there's four different types of buds in the pack. So you want to get a good variety. Now those seeds have shown up in her inventory. So we're going to go ahead and open them up. So you see she got four. Oh, I wonder if she got all different types. Yeah, she got all four in the first run. That's pretty good. Not too shabby. We could have just been good with that first pack. But you're going to get different kinds every single time. So these are uncured buds. We have Sour D, Purple Haze, OG Kush, and AK-47. Keep in mind these uncured buds is going to be what your marijuana plant produces. So you won't have to keep buying packs of seeds over and over. It's going to be just like a plant. You could just replant the uncured buds and it'll give you more plants. All right, so I'm planting these puppies and I'm going to water them as you would any other plant in the game. Okay, so they're a little all over the place, but we're going to fix it. <laughs> so we've planted the cannabis plants. So now we are going to wait it out until they start yielding some buds. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to show you how to turn the plant into a bag of pot to smoke or sell or whatever. So that way you don't have to buy it from a dealer. You can just grow your own butt essentially. So while we're waiting on those puppies to be ready in a couple of days and give us buds, we're gonna hop on the computer and we're gonna go to drugs and the head shop. So through the head shop, you can purchase a bunch of paraphernalia. You can purchase the seeds and things to smoke out of bongs, all this good stuff. But the important thing you're gonna need is the empty weed jars. Now you could also find this stuff in build mode by searching it up. It's gonna be in build mode as well. But if you want the full effect, go to the head shop online and stock up on weed jars. So the reason why the jars are so important is because you're gonna take the uncured buds and you're gonna cure them in this jar. After two days or 48 hours of them curing in the jar, you're gonna be able to then yield like those little sacks of bud that's what you're going to get out of curing 
the bud. But that's the important step is that you can't smoke the uncured bud from the plant. You have to cure it in the jar. What you can do with those uncured buds, however, is you can bake with them and make edibles with your stove. And you can also sell them in the bakeries, I believe. I haven't done that yet, but hmm, something to look into. <laughs> so I'm going to buy my jars and organize my field a bit and then wait the couple days for this to start yielding some fruit. I actually decided to come back for some goodies to roll up in and smoke out of because you ever tried farming not high? It's boring as Okay, so now we have full grown crops and they all have butt on them. So you're gonna click on them and you're gonna harvest all or harvest it per plant, whatever. And you're gonna see that we have three different types of buds. Now you're gonna go into your inventory where you have your jars. If you got them out of your mailbox or have you have them, you could even have a jar on the floor like that. Any who's, yeah, go into your inventory and you're gonna put cure whichever of the bud that you want. And you need, I believe, 15 buds or 10 buds. I don't know, we're about to find out. So it takes 15 uncured buds per jar. And we automatically cured all the buds that we had available. So we're gonna keep harvesting and keep curing. And after 48 hours, our original jars are gonna be done. So it takes 48 hours for the buds to cure. So it's been 48 hours. And as you can see, now when we click on the jar, it says open. So we're gonna go ahead and open these puppies up. Now look, Ziploc bag with OG cushion in it. So we did it, all right? And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm just gonna light a fire. Open me up a bag of OG Kush. I'm gonna have her sit down and roll up a Philly. Ah. Now you see she's scrolling it, and here it is. Here's her Philly. Now she gon' smoke it. Okay, Savannah know what's up. Savannah be knowing. And there you have it, folks. That's from farm to table in basemental. <laughs> I taught you where to get the seeds, how to plant and grow the plants, how to cure the buds, and how to roll up and toke. So enjoy. And if I helped you out, then please feel free to show some love downstairs by liking the video for me. Comment down below any questions or concern or anything you want to comment down below. I also have some other base mental mod tutorials if you want to check it out. Or as you can see her on her iPhone 11, you want to check that out <laughs> as well. I have a bunch of stuff up for you guys on my channel. So check out my videos, show some love. So that wraps it up for this base mental mod video. But make sure to check out the others in the series. And make sure you're subscribed to follow along with the series and everything else that we do. Uh, we the nasty uh, gang. So follow along to be a part of it because uh, we have a lot of fun in this channel if you can't already tell. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for getting to the end of the video. Peace and love. Jane Asti out. Just press, so just iron your clothes with your creases folded. Dress to impress if you see that my eyes is low as hell then you know that I'm token. No need for your stupid ass questions. Just know that my time is priceless so I enjoy every second. No need to second guess that when you're with me that's your best bet. Hey, you could bet on that. My word is